Hello everybody, I am Angry Bird. We have reached the finals. Brawl on breast. We are here. <laughs> what you've been waiting for, hopefully. Uh, finals day. Here Robert versus Sean in the final. So these this will be a best of three, so there'll be at least two games minimum. Um, we will have the first of the final today, and then we'll follow up with the second game tomorrow. So, the matchup we have here Robert playing 5th Viking on Vanguard Income versus Sean playing 1st Polish on Balanced Income. Now, having a look, quick look at the map, we're on, we are on Sidels, and uh, this map is uh, the one that's very open in the centre. You can't quite see it on the screen right now. Uh, this is the same map that I played uh, Ambition in the first round, and I think uh, both the north and south, very kind of infantry focused. The centre, I think a bit more armoured uh, focused with the massive uh, sight lines that you have over that central sort of uh, lake slash swamp area. Um, here, Robert is choosing to play the fifth Viking, and at their disposal, they have a number of heavy tanks um, two Panther A's and nine Panther D's, as well as the uh, Jag Panzers as well. So, a fair few heavy tanks. Not a, a huge number, but certainly uh, it's going to be. Difficult for the uh, first Polish to uh, win in this uh, in this uh, to well to take out those heavy tanks. Uh, in terms of infantry, the first Polish are going to be very strong. You saw against Ambati in round one how just how much infantry can come out in this game, and I think uh, Herr Robert is going to get overwhelmed with infantry. Uh, the fifth Viking, they're not they're not bad. They're not bad with their infantry, all Panzergrens, and Panzergrens are strong, um, but in terms of the amount, the numbers, uh, Hiroba is going to suffer. Uh, he does have his early infantry up vetted to one star, uh, so he's looking to uh, try and beat Sean in A phase in terms of uh, veterancy on his infantry, and I guess that's when he's going to be attacking the most. Uh, given that he's on Vanguard income and Sean is only on balanced. So really I would expect either the north or the south is where Herobert will concentrate his attack. Um, that's what I would expect. Like I said, in terms of tanks, his heavy tanks will reign supreme. Uh, first Polish, they only really get T-34s, but they do get a lot of uh, cluster uh, IL-2 planes. And they get a, well, they don't get a hell of a lot of great anti-tank guns, but they do get a hell of a lot of light M42 guns. But we'll see Sean's deck in a second to see whether he can cope. Uh, Hiroba also got the uh, BEF SDK, I've said, 251-3 Commander in A phase, potentially to up that further. Um, so those one-star Panzergrens could well be three-star uh, if... Robert chooses to bring in the Commander and the Panzergren Führer to support in that A phase. In terms of taking out those T-34s, I think he's going to have a decent job. You know, he's going to be able to do that decently well. He has the Focke Wolf 190 F8s. I'm not sure he entirely needs those. Um, um, I am looking forward to see the Heinkel 111 H20s in C phase. Two of those heavy bombers, and I don't think I've seen a cast with them yet. Uh, they are new from the Death on the Vitula update, and I'm really excited to see them uh, come out in this game. Hopefully, we'll get to see them. Let's have a look at Sean's deck, and like I said, infantry, infantry, infantry. And uh, yeah, Sean's not going to uh, worry about the infantry battle. He's got. Uh, in fact, if this deck looks slightly familiar, this is the same deck. It's not the same deck. This is the deck that I used to base my first Polish off the other day. Uh, I actually took one of Sean's first Polish uh, decks 
from the Steel Division League, and then I made some changes. Uh, so you'll see the anti-tank tab. I had all three cards of M42 guns in A phase, uh, and I took out the uh, this. I think I had the ZIS 3 in B, but I took out the SU76 uh, PPNAC in uh, from that A phase. But yes, this is pretty much what I uh, based my original deck on. I think the infantry is probably about the same. Uh, two cards of Strelke CKMs in C phase, that's 54 units of one of the best, well, not one of the best uh, infantry units, but certainly a very good infantry unit. And you've got 54 of them in C phase, so Hiroba has to worry about getting into an uh, infantry attrition war, because uh, if he does, Amity will wipe the floor with him with this first Polish. He has to concentrate on using his tanks. And uh, you'll see A, A, B, and C phase, those T-34s, uh, same card layout as myself, although, yes, I think the same card layout. So, uh, I think here Robert has to use his uh, heavy tanks to uh, take advantage of the uh, the disparity in armor. And uh, he does not want to get involved in an infantry uh, attritional war. Uh, because Sean will 100% win that. I think here Robert as well has to be uh, slightly worried about the air tab that the first Polish can bring. Those two IL-2Ms in uh, B phase. Well, in fact, all of the IL-2s did a fantastic job for me in that game against Amber T. But I'm very interested in looking at the uh, C phase card of IL-2M uh, bombers. Because there's eight of them there. This could get really... Uh, difficult for here Robert with all of those planes but the players have begun the match let's have a look here Robert pushing forwards very early on in the center and northern areas just taking the compound and uh Sean pushing forwards uh Ognamachiki basically but they're going to get taken out very easily by the MG42 there's no way he's going to make forward there and actually he only has the SU57 there we could see a major territory swing that goes tech tracks broken there's no other recon there and uh strokey CKM blocking this compound so Sean really I think he uh he expected an attack into the southern area a bit like what I pulled off against Amber T and that's where he's got quite a few of his uh, units look at the way he moves them forwards in little pockets with the uh command just behind as well uh, the M42 gun moving into a nice position, but we've got a Pac-38 and an MG42 as well, which should be able to deal with that. A little pocket of uh, P-Panics, uh, SU-76 is basically, with the combat being up there to two-star each. So uh, Sean obviously uh, plays this map, or has played this map before, and likes this little hill to uh, provide that uh, sight lines. The uh, Flammenworths, or the, the Ognamachikis, have popped smoke. Uh, they have pushed themselves forwards and uh, yeah they are going to get taken out now they are just trying to save themselves with that final smoke but look at this territory swing look at this territory swing there's nothing else there the su-57 has gone down will here robert pick up the flag yes he surely yes he will he will pick up the flag gets the early 1311 that should tell her robert there's absolutely nothing there this panzergren should be racing into this uh, town he should be bringing in reinforcements this is where he needs to make his attack because this flag is just open for the taking he did manage to push the flammenworth forwards into that little compound but against the odds he'll call me in the stroke he ckm they won't win out so he is right to uh, put them on hold fire uh, for now he's microing through this town uh, potentially will win out but the uh, su-76s now look like they're about to open fire on that position sean actually making an attack in this southern side to say he's on balanced income um, it's a nice attack coming in and this is going to this is going to have a decent effect on here, Robert, because these infantry, they are going to go down to the heavily upvetted Odzeal Corners, as well as the T-34E there, and uh, everything's upvetted. So once the infantry get through, the uh, MG-42 at close range is going to suffer. The Pac-38 will probably go down, and the Stug-4 could well get hit by uh, potentially some infantry anti-tank, but we have artillery coming in from the SDK of said 25 slash 1, pounding the area, but he's a bit too late the infantry's moved on. The T-34 is getting hit, but it won't hurt him too much. The artillery just behind. Um, he's just 
spreading that out i think to avoid a major artillery strike the pack 38 opens up against the infantry coming in so at least sean will have a more difficult time reinforcing this position but certainly at the moment this should scare hiroba and yes at Three squads of, uh, well, no, two squads of Panzergwens, a Panzergwen Fuhrer, Panzer Vinictons, and a Flammenwerf all coming into there. I think combined, as long as he gets that Panzergwen Fuhrer unloaded ASAP and upvets the Panzergwens, then uh, I think he can just hold the position. But you cannot underestimate these Odzil Carney squads. They're very strong. But with the supporting artillery, I think Hey Robert can hold this position. The uh, Zamot Zio Ziwadowski are uh, great units as well with those seven SVTs. SVT is so strong in this game. And uh, yes, those recon units definitely worth taking as a fighting infantry unit, more so than an, uh, than an actual uh, uh, recon unit itself. The Odds Connie do take down one of the Panzergren squads, so that, that hurts. And if this Panzergren goes down, that could be a major victory. Uh, Sean pushing southwards, uh, interesting call. One of the uh, units down there, the recon unit, did get surrendered. The Stug 3, no, sorry, the Stug 4 may be open to challenge the T-34E. Uh, just reversing that, Sean is, and the M42 could be in trouble coming up in the transport. Sean is going to have to, uh, yeah, he's unloading those. The M42 could be in a nice position to open up on that Stug 4, but here, Robert, I feel like, I mean, he's let this northern side go. Sean has managed to reinforce. Um, he's obviously kind of... Reacting to Sean's push, and this is what Sean will want from this game. Uh, hey, Robert has the Vanguard income, but it's Sean, apart from in this northern side where Sean's initial forces were all destroyed, uh, is Sean on the attack in the southern side? He's kind of distracted here, Robert. Look at the amount of reinforcements that Hey Robert's brought in. Hey, Robert wasn't initially going for this southern attack. It, it, the only reason he's got this many forces in is because Sean pushed the position. And uh, hey, Robert's reacted, but this has got to be in Sean's favour. We're now five minutes into the game, five minutes through A phase, and uh, Sean has hey, Robert on the back foot. Um, and really, this is what Sean's going to want because it gives him time to uh, just hold at this 12 12 until, you know, later on in the game, you know, B and C phase. The Sub 4 now engaging the moving M42. And uh, yeah. Potentially, I uh, would have liked that to have been stopped and firing at that stuff before, uh, rather than moving, but Sean's decided to move that one off. The Panzer Vernichtons, how are they not engaging this T-34E right now? Uh, they need to engage that. Yes, Herr Robert now pushing it forward. I mean, a couple of meters. Do get the Panzer Vernichton kill, or the, sorry, the Panzer Shrek kill, and uh, that's really going to worry Sean now. Herr Robert definitely can push through here and uh, pick up the flag return it to a 1311 but 1311 vanguard versus Ma uh, balance probably not enough against sean two more sorry this is the commander as well as the uh mortar half track just in reserve so the uh infantry although they have outrun the panzergrim fuhrer he needs luckily the odds he'll carny go down but he needs to keep this panzergrim fuhrer close enough to his main infantry squads this 10 strength panzergrim uh, needs to get that up there when it engages the Sapersi. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how Herr Robert progresses from here because he has recovered this flag. He's got the 1311. Um, down go the uh, Flammenwerfers in that central area. This is the flag that he's taken to get the 1311, but really uh, reacting to Sean's attack in that southern side. Now, I feel like he could have exploited that northern area, but uh, his eyes weren't on it. He was reacting in the southern side. His main push, I feel like, it was an attempt to go through this central town. But I think he started the attack and then started microing further south. Sean's using these SU-76 PPA and Cs as uh, kind of like IG-18s almost uh, on the hills. And uh, I like that. I mean, they all there's this three gone. I like the way he's using those units. Uh, very, actually, a... Uh, Superb use of those PPNACs and uh, down go the Saparane. Potentially could go down again to the uh, upvetted uh, Flammenworth. The M42 gun's going to go down for sure. And uh, here, Robert, with that upvetted infantry, I mean, this just shows how good uh, upvetted infantry is in this game. I feel like it's a return to older Steel Division tactics. You get enough infantry. Uh, certainly the top players, I feel, feel that they get enough infantry to be able to vet them. Um, and they're doing a great job. The Desan 
Sezolgoi, basically the uh, Tanko de Saniques, or uh, do manage to hold off the push forwards from the Panzergrens. And uh, we could do with a little bit of artillery. We have a mortar half track. So potentially, I mean, that's being brought a bit closer. Potentially, that's going to be used. Uh, hey, Robert's kind of got this forest now, but the problem with this area is it's very hard to push out of it uh, without some armoured units at least supporting. Uh, but yes, very hard to push out, and I find that actually it's almost better to uh, kind of hold the units here and then use different units to push through this very southern heavy forest and push onto this uh, southern compound. Um, but uh, Robert being very uh, cautious with his Stug force. I mean, there is the M42 gun here. It's not revealed. Sean got it a bit further back. Um, and only going to use it when is necessary. But I feel like Robert is again missing... You know, he could exploit this attack very easily. And... I feel like he has the resources here. He pushed the Stug force forward. Yes, the M42 gun may come out may get an early kill on one of the Stugs, but he has the uh, Mortar Half Trap back here to easily and quickly either smoke defensively or target that M42 gun with the Mortars, and that will go down quite quickly. Pack 38, 50, just moving forward is actually following the Panzergrenz there. Um, and that's going to provide a little bit of uh, nice anti-tank up from this position, but I feel like here Robert's missing a trick down south. He needs to follow up this attack because he's Vanguard income, but he's only a 13-11 here. And I, I feel like Sean is going to overwhelm Herobert in the late game. Unless Herobert gets a pretty decent, substantial lead, as well as some very defensible positions. I think if he uh, brings his Panther down, I know this is terrible to say, but I'd like to see this Panther right in the open. Maybe an infantry squad in front of it. He could pick up these flags here. And they're fairly undefended. It is going to be able to be... Uh, attacked from uh, different ridge lines but I do feel like he has the advantage in the heavy tank game so use that advantage as best he can and uh, the Panther's actually being engaged by an OB25 back there so the OB will lose that one out does take a quick shot at the half track destroys that the Stug Force still not pushing forward he's given uh, Sean a hell of a lot of time to bring in a lot of of reinforcing units and hey Robert he will not win an attritional battle so I feel like if it was me playing I would not be push allowing Sean time I'd be pressuring but then we did see my approach completely and utterly fail in the previous game so maybe I shouldn't be the best person to advise <laughs> Robert really <laughs> in the northern side Sean's got the Odzeal Carnies I mean very thick squads there 20 men uh, he's using a lot of them in a phase and uh, they're hard to go through early on in the game and at the moment here robert it kind of feels like he's just building up forces and i feel like it's a mistake but he may well just be looking for a 13 11 to to win in the game that may be what his tactic is. The IL-2M, the first of the IL-2Ms come in. But there is a Gepard on the field. The bombs come down, uh, hit one of the Panzergrens, and uh, it does go down. Recon T-34-76 is onto the field. Pushing forwards, again with infantry, up vetted by the artillery leader. And uh, these Flammenwerfer has done a fantastic job of pushing back a lot of the Superzi. In comes a mortar unit there. Was it an OB-25? It was a, a unit from the... Uh, an attack from the M30 Halberker uh, artillery unit, I think. Which is out repositioned on the commander. How has he picked up that commander? He must have spotted it from somewhere. Um, to be able to direct fire. That is a fantastic spot. Potentially from this uh, combat here, actually, might be spotting. In fact, I think this combat is actually spotting both the Commander and the Panther. Potentially even the Gepard, because they're out of... Uh, they're, they're not really in any cover. They're not behind a tree line. And uh, this M30, this could deal a major blow, taking away that veterancy. But actually, in terms of the uh, numbers of units here, the Robert is overwhelmed right now. The first attack comes in on that BEF SDK, I've said, two... 5-1 slash 3, but here Robert not yet reacting, not moving that vehicle back. The Pack 38 is 
falling back. Two more Panzergrens come in. The Panzergren Führer not falling back either. The BF251 is now retreating, getting itself out of that artillery range uh, and will at least be okay for now. Panzergren now falling back. He's going to have to uh, protect this flag with the Panzergrens more at range. Um, but the Stroke CKMs with the uh, double... Uh, DP-28 machine gun. They will do reasonable job at taking on the two Panzergrens, especially with their veterancy as well. It's veterancy versus veterancy right now. The 251 is forced back. And uh, is that just out of range? That, that must be just out of range not to vet these Panzergrens. Down goes the leader. Big kill takes away the veterancy bu buff. And uh, those Panzergrens down to zero stars. What a kill that was. Taking out the commander first. Massive kill for Sean. Sean picks up the flag. Back to a 12-12. A Jagdpanzer into that central area. And uh, if he pushes forwards a little bit more, he will be able to pick up this flag. Um, at the moment, it feels like a slow build up of forces we're 14 minutes into the game and Robert has lost the income advantage overall in terms of income economy uh, he will still have uh, the advantage until uh, he gets 500 points in a phase and Sean gets uh, 200 points back so he will still have the advantage about five minutes into C phase but Really, Sean is now just able to bring in more and more units. Uh, the Jagdpanzer 4 is loaded and knocked out by the uh, PPANCs on the hill. And uh, they still have APCR shells, or one of them does at least. So, they will be able to uh, penetrate the Jagdpanzer 4. It's, it's only a very, very, very slight chance. Uh, but we'll be able to get criticals. It is now loaded and knocked out. Panzergren coming forward. So I feel like that was going to sit in front of the Jagdpanzer to just try and influence the front line and get this flag. Uh, but Sean, he's kind of reinforced this southern position. He's kind of got Robert to attack him where he wanted to fight. And like I said earlier, I mean, if Robert gets drawn into an infantry... Um, grind or an infantry uh, attritional warfare he is gonna massively lose out to sean playing the first polish and it feels like that is what happens if here robert fights over this forest he will lose the game uh, no doubt about that because there's just too much polish infantry available uh, and not enough uh, panzergrens and then the panzergrens they're not cqc infantry they are not cqc infantry um, whereas we've got the uh, Strokey CKM, again not really CQC infantry, but the 9 SVTs more powerful than the uh, Carabiner 98Ks. Um, but we do have some Sapersi here with the TNT shells and they are CQC infantry. They will destroy the Panzergrens fairly easily. One of the T-34Es does uh, get turret struck as it kind of dashes forward to get into this light forest. I love the way that Sean has taken these units around this side in the light forest and is going to hopefully pop out and uh, maybe put some fire onto these Stug 4s down here. Looks like in the northern side, Sean has potentially pushed forward a couple of units to the edge of this forest. But still very much not really fighting over that area. I mean, look at Herobert's forces. They're all concentrated down in the southern side. Uh, he does have a SDKFZ-71 to protect his tanks from air attack. But uh, these Sapperies, I think, are going to just do a decent job. We've got artillery fire. I think that's Herobert's own artillery fire coming in there onto his own troops. Bit of a mistake there. The uh, Sapersi are taken down fairly well, but these squads, a few of them have lost men. The Panzergrens get hit by their own mortars there. Difficult job. Actually, a lot of Sean's infantry has gone down here. So, Robert did a great job of uh, destroying that infantry. I did not think it was going to turn out that way. But the artillery with the 10 men, they will at least escape for now. The Sapersi do go down on the retreat, but nothing can get through the T-34Es. There's no anti-tank right now. Uh, the best that A. Robert could probably do is push forward the Stug 4s. Uh, um, but there's two M30s on the field now. Uh, looks like he's concentrating an attack on the Panther A. It's going to be spotted by this combat. Beautiful little position there to be able to spot those units. And A. Robert just leaving them out in the open here, I guess. I mean, they've not really got fan 
they've not really got great lines of sight. So it's interesting that he's leaving them there. Why are they not further up to this edge? Where at least they have line of sight over to the central area. Robert has picked up that central flag with the help of the Panzergrenz. And that is a good move. Um, the Zist 3 guns in the, in the center being used as like static infantry support guns. But they're also anti-tank guns. And they're being used out in the open. So interesting call. Um, hey Robert. Bringing in more Panzergrenz, but nothing with anti-tank capability. Uh, the M30 is firing now on the Stug 4, which uh, has been revealed probably from the Sapersi moving up the road, getting attacked by the uh, Stug as they come down this little supply road here. Look at all the uh, M30s. Wow. One, two, three, four, five M30s now on the field. Uh, Sean is going to hammer. Um, that's his tactic. He's going to hammer uh, the tanks with artillery. And uh, it could work fairly well. The Panzer fours actually. Uh, oof, one of them bailed out from the uh, Zist 3, I believe. I'm pretty sure that was the uh, Zist 3. Gets the instant bailout and the kill. <laughs> nice job there. Very nice job. Some smoke coming down on the forest to the north. I'm not sure if that's... Uh, I think that's probably here, Robert, that's put that smoke down. Finally, a Panzervinictons has come in. That will be able to uh, contest. But, again, it's allowed uh, Sean to bring in more infantry. And, like I said before, uh, Sean will win out in the infantry uh, engagement over time. So, Sean doesn't have to worry about this. It's not as though... Sean will be happy fighting over this ground. He will be happy fighting over this ground. So, Robert pushes forward to Panzergrenz. Picks up a second central flag. 14-10. Uh, Sean is reacting with uh, T-34s and infantry. But um, at the moment, I feel like he's got the time to grind down here Robert's forces. Uh, he's got 20 minutes to get back into this game. But we've just hit C phase. Sean is now going to be at the economic advantage. 60 points a minute more than Herr Robert so any losses that Herr Robert takes from now on is going to be hard to replace compared to Sean who's going to have an easy time with cheaper units as well the Panzer Bennington's pushing forwards but uh, the Sapersi probably just getting there in time have they been spotted oof down comes an artillery strike takes out the command wow everything falling back there ouch that one artillery strike did a major job. The IL-2Ms under heavy uh, anti-air strike. But down goes the support vehicle. Big kill from Sean. That was pretty fully loaded. The M30s coming in. Uh, kind of counter-battering the uh, northern mortar unit. Although, here Robert now got three mortar units on his side. And actually reversing back the uh, support unit there. <laughs> Keeping that away from uh, counter-battery. Does not want that taken out. Like the uh, more southern one so here robert he has pushed forward but he doesn't have the flag uh sean has that flag hey robert not got his uh, commander really close enough to up that all of the panzergren squads and uh in comes the artillery actually onto the sdkfz at the back so nice move from sean because uh he's going to open up his airstrikes down goes the sdkfz 7-1 big kill very big kill for this game um, hey Robert's still claiming those centre flags, but really it's just two Panzergrens. So when Sean invests some units to take them down, he can do decently well. There's a pack 40 that's kind of protecting them, but I don't think Sean will be too worried right now uh, about these two flags being lost. I think while hey Robert continues to engage in this southern side, uh, hey, Sean will be happy to fight him here. He's now got a hell of a lot of artillery on the field. And um, I think we're going to start to see, I mean, Sean's building up his forces. as a lot of supporting artillery. I think we're going to start to see this swing now with the, uh, with the uh, income change. The two stuck fours engage in the uh, leader. And that's a, that's a nice um, kill there. Or a nice, uh, nice to force them out. But I think in terms of like heavy tanks, there's not too many out on the field right now. 
and uh, every heavy tank lost, like I said, is going to hurt Hirobert to replace them. Sean forcing back the Stug 4s, uh, some engagement with the infantry, and Hirobert's force is actually fairly uh, low in strength. Although, uh, I mean, these two odd Zilkani squads are decent, but... Sean also fairly well. I feel like the battery fuel are a bit too far back. It's not vetting any of this infantry. Um, Sean reacting with the artillery, and that's really hurting here, Robert. The artillery war is uh, going in favour of Sean. I feel like Robert needs to uh, needs to needs to engage in some counter battery because over time these artilleries are just gonna look. Well, we can see they're just hounding the uh, tanks of here, Robert. And uh, he will not want to invest now in artillery to counter battery these units. But I feel like he needs to because over the next 10 minutes, these artillery units are going to just decimate the forces of Heer Robert unless he finds a way to shut them down. It's just constant artillery battery uh, coming through. Sean has picked up this central flag, and uh, although. One of the T-34Es have been bailed out. The uh, Panzergrens, I don't think, will survive in the long run. And uh, Sean picking up that flag. He looks like he's pushing forwards an odd zeal Carney. Yes, to contest this flag as well. And that should take it uh, back to a... Well, it could take it back to a 12-12. Sean, again, his infantry is pushed back. So, Herr Robert, using these uh, Panzergrens at the right position to engage with those uh, double MG42s he's not got anything to push onto this flag, the only reason he's got this flag right now is because this is a T-34 76 recon unit, as soon as these recover from their falling back state, they will um, they'll pick up the flag again, in fact here we go lot, with the uh, DCA Sapporo making it into the forest they picks up that flag Back to the 1311, as soon as this Odzeal Carney gets into range to push that front line, we're seeing it move, uh, it will go back to a 12-12, and uh, here Robert will be in trouble at that point. We do see a Panther D now, in the central area, pushing through this light forest, um, and still these Panthers, not easily taken out. I do like the fact that these M30... This could be just pushed forward onto the front line to provide anti-tank against the heavier uh, panzers. Uh, potentially, when Sean runs out of uh, supply, which he may well do, uh, we could see those M30s become more of a, an anti-tank threat. And actually, I feel like he's doing that with this southern one. Uh, he is pushing this forwards into a position where he can just fire straight down this road as a mainline anti-tank gun. Sean choosing this uh, southern side to make a breakthrough, spawning in more infantry, we've already got some reserves coming in now. This is now Sean's time to attack. I feel like he's built up his supporting units, he's now going to push through the attack with the infantry. A T-34-76 was pushing through fairly decently there, does get taken out I think by this Stug 4, yes, at the back. The SDK have said Half track, having to uh, push back. There's a row of Gepards here protecting this Panther Ray, but they're coming under artillery uh, attack as well. Down goes a Gepard. Every AA unit lost opens up Sean to bring in the uh, cluster. We've not even seen the cluster bombers come in yet. And uh, he's taken down. Down goes another Gepard. He's taken these Gepards down, these anti air units, before any of the cluster planes come in. Finally, we see the uh, Heinkel 111 H20 come in. I'm excited to see this come in, and there's a hell of a lot of pocket of troops down here. This could bring some pretty decent kills with the 1 1,000 kilogram HE bomb. I love to see this come down. In, in it comes. It is under attack from the 52K85. Ulf just releases its bomb in time. Oh, pin down to all the units, no major kills, but the plane does go down from the uh, Yak-1B coming in there. So, nice kill for Sean, because that unit's expensive, I think that's like 160 points. Shot down on its first run and it didn't get a major kill. Now comes the IL-2M strike, two of the Gepards taken out, and SDK have said 7-1 taken out, just one Gepard remaining, as well as the Yak-1B flying uh, Overwatch, and uh, this... 
I feel like these IL-2s are just going to come in now and just destroy everything in its wake. Uh, actually, the stud goes down early. Sean quickly microing that onto the Panzer IV H, takes that one down. A successful double kill there. Beautiful play by Sean. The uh, T-34-76 recon spotting the infantry, firing on it. The Panzer Wellington's coming in for a potential shot on that T-34-76. Will it get it? Crew kill. Where was that crew kill from? I don't think it fired. Does now get the fire and the kill. Maybe, uh, maybe it did fire and I missed the first shot. <laughs> I must have missed the first shot there. It is now engaging the infantry with the six G43s. Can do some decent work, but um, those infantry, I feel like they will go down. But just, just, it's just a matter of time until Sean just grinds out Herobert with infantry. Uh, there's just too much Polish infantry, and Herobert's going to lose it out. He is still at 1311. Has this central flag, but uh, Sean now invested in three units, just running across the open, even running across the. Uh, Kind of lake with the uh, rifles in the air as they're moving keeping the rifle dry and uh, yeah all three of them surely will get into a position to uh, pull this flag back IL-2M bombing strikes into the northern side and uh, is this M42 gun going to go down or machine gun yes these IL-2 bombers are fantastic bombers they only have the 250k bombs but that can get them kills onto anti-tank guns, onto uh, infantry guns, onto uh, machine guns. So, excellent units. Really enjoyed using these the other day against Amber T. Uh, here, Robert bringing in the Junkers 88 G1 uh, heavy fighter to uh, contest. And the Yak 1B straying really quite far over enemy lines, but nothing really engaging it. No AA in this uh, central area, at least. And... Hiroba under consistent attack in this southern side. It's, I feel like it's only a matter of time until Sean makes the breakthrough. He's got infantry into this uh, more southern forest. He's got T-34s, a number of them following up. And uh, although Hiroba's using his mortars to be able to hold off the infantry here, it's just a matter of time until Sean just grinds out the numbers of infantry. And a lovely uh, 52k 85 uh, mil anti-tank, or sorry, anti-air flat guns being used, pushed across the open. I just, I absolutely love this play. And uh, look how it's just slowly moving forward. It's going to contest that commander back there. Potentially might get a kill off this commander. Um, and these these units they could suffer from artillery strike. But Sean has the artillery units to counter battery anything in his way. Although. They are getting fairly low on supply, and I like how Sean's just pushing them forwards to act as uh, anti-tank guns. Once they're low on supply, if he can't resupply them. In the north, more skirmishing, but no real consistent sustained attack. Sean has managed to uh, capture this flag in the centre, and potentially could capture this one further back. A uh, IL-2M cluster bomber coming in, but hey, Robert has the JU-88G1. I don't think he's spotted it yet, and engaged. Now he has, but I think that Ju is not going to turn in time. It is not going to turn in time. If it gets actually, if it gets a burst off, it will potentially kill. But actually, the uh, cluster bomb does get its cluster bomb <laughs> bombs off against the uh, Jagdpanzer. I thought it was going to target this Panther D further back. I hadn't noticed the Jagdpanzer up there, and uh, Sean escapes with it. So well played, Sean. There, nice attack. The 52K is also providing anti-air. A decent range, 3,000 meter range on these uh, flat guns. So it is able to uh, push back the Ju-88 fight. Sean losing this compound here in this northern side. I'd like to see an infantry unit come in and just recover that area. I suppose here Robert has the supply line covered, uh, but I guess now it is recovered. Uh, due to the Panzergrens being pinned down uh, by the T-3476. So if they go down, Sean will hold that flag. It's back to a 12-12. Like I said, over time, I think uh, Sean is going to grind down this deck. It's really the heavy tanks that matter. If here Robert can keep those alive, keep them as supporting weaponry, then uh, I think he's going to be okay. But uh, engaging in infantry war, he's going to lose it. This southern side, Sean has managed to break through. 13-11 on Sean's side now. 
32 minutes for Hirava to uh, change that result. And uh, the, is that the Zis 3? The Zis 3 engaging the Panther A at range. I uh, don't think that will quite do the job. It's got one APCR shot left. Does get a bounce. Uh, out of APCR, so relying on AP, and I don't feel that it is going to penetrate with AP. So that unit's probably going to go down, especially with the mortar, yeah, firing in. And uh, Sean having to... No, sorry, I thought he was moving back his commander there, but he is not. The Panzergrenz kind of uh, surrounded there, almost. Uh, a lot of infantry pushing through. Hey, Robert's lost this forest and pushing back into it. It's going to be difficult. The Panther D pushing very far forward without infantry. And if Sean pushes this M42 gun forwards at that range, he can definitely penetrate and get the kill. Any of these T-34s as well at this range, they can uh, they can pick up the kills. So interesting. Hey, Robert pushing them forwards ahead of his infantry. The infantry is behind. But uh, I feel like Sean may well capitalise on this move. More T-34s coming into this southern side. And um, the the thing about these static AA guns, these 85mm AA guns, they are heavy uh, targets for artillery. Uh, Sean needs to counter battery the artillery to prevent those 88mm from having just, just being artillery to death. This one down to uh, eight men and probably will get lost the next time. It looks like, yes, Sean is engaging in counter battery onto that mortar half track. So the Panzergrens move forwards, but just the amount of infantry, I don't think they'll be able to hold this position. The flag will go back to Sean. It's just a matter of time. And I feel like uh, here Robert's backing away. The Jagdpans are four here. Uh, kind of strange to be doing that, actually. Uh, I think maybe a little push into this central compound could do him well, but he's got to be actually fairly concerned about his infantry reserves at the moment. Uh, down goes the mortar half track. That one's defeated. Just two of them left. Uh, and I think over time they are just going to get... Destroyed by counter battery fire. The uh, wow, the Panzergren Führer or potentially the battery Führer goes down. The Yak 1B is engaging ahead of the IL 2M and two more bombers. Uh, one of the uh, JUs being shot uh, before it can respond. Another one coming in potentially will get the kill. But the cluster musicians come down, trades one for one with the Panther. I think Sean will be happy with that. Uh, JU being engaged by the Yak 1B behind enemy lines. The two IL bombers coming in. Targeting the uh, Panther D. Doesn't get the victory. Uh, doesn't get the uh, kill. Just force it back for now. Uh, there's a crew kill T3476. Probably from the Panzerfaust. At that range. And uh, is Sean going to counter battery the Gepard? No, he's pushing for an attack in this central area. And with artillery on his side. Yes, he is going to He is gonna beat that central area back. And uh, I feel like he could potentially push all the way through here. Uh, hey, Robert. I think income advantage has been to Sean for the past uh, 16 minutes and uh, hey Robert is just getting just just slowly pushed back just slowly pushed back the Panther can't really engage forwards while the 50 uh, 52k is there nice position from this flat gun and uh, the Panther can't really engage because this 85 millimeter uh, it has 145 millimeters of penetration, 12 rounds a minute with 55% accuracy. These can be pretty deadly, which is why I love them when they're being used. And a uh, seven damage, you know, once it gets a penetrating hit, it is going to be a penetrating kill. So that Panther is just zoned out until Hirobot can kind of RT or bomb that 52k. It's just zoning out the Panther and uh there's nothing else here. There's, there is nothing else here. So without that panther and stopping the infantry moving forward, uh, they're going to make a hell of a lot of ground. And potentially, you know, Sean could just push one up in a vehicle into this position. And, you know, two more flags under pressure. But Sean continues to have the 13-11. Uh, Hirobi picked up a fairly decent lead early on, but uh, just wasn't enough. Uh, Hirobi under threat now. 29 minutes of the game left. And just look at the number of units 
in this forest. Just so many units here from Sean. And uh, I think just overwhelming numbers. Even if Sean loses a lot of units, I feel like they are just going to win out in the very long run. The uh, Panther engaging with the HA. The T-34 is coming forward. Gun jab onto the Panzer 4H. Another one reversing now. Trying to get out of there. Engine damage. Uh, the M42 engaging as well. This is Sean's move. A hell of a lot of T-34s. And this Panther is the only thing that really stands in their way. Wow. Wow. What shot down that unit there? What got the kill? Let's try and get that. What got the kill on that Panther? What got that kill? It was a T-34. Just first shot and I think it got the kill. Beautiful play. It was a T-34 there on this very southern side. Beautiful play. The uh, IL-2 I think actually came in for that uh, Panther as well. But it wasn't needed. And look at the breakout. They, are, they break out of the forest and uh, push forwards. And look at the territory. There's nothing here. If they can push around this corner. And uh, the, the SDK I've said will you know, potentially hold it off. Uh, they say, hey, Robert needs to get this pack 40 unloaded and engage in the unit. Um, potentially just move it out into the open and get them engaged. He's going to move it forwards. I mean, it will be in nicer cover, but uh, he needs to start engaging those T-34s and not allow Sean to break out because this is a breakout right now. Uh, Sean could potentially hit the back lines here. No flag behind this one. Oh, sorry. No, there is a flag here. So potentially this is where Sean is. Yeah, this is where he's concentrating. Look, he's moving all of the resources through. No infantry. The SDK I've said it opens up. But against three T-34s, yes, it goes down to the first one. The commander potentially in trouble. The Gepard as well in trouble. As, that's getting hotted while moving forward, trying to survive. And move it into the artillery range. But even the Strelke CKM, they're eventually going to hit the edge of the woods. And with the PTRD rifle, they will take down the Gepard and the BF SDK. I've said 251, the T-34s moving around the side. This is a major play by Sean. Beautiful to watch. Those T-34s just potentially getting into the range of that Gepard. They are going to engage. There it goes. Down that Gepard goes. No more anti-air on this southern side. Sean will be able to bring those cluster bombers in without... Uh, fear of losing them. The BEF SDK have said 251 coming down and uh, it has to now reverse being shot up by the M42 gun there. Uh, infantry breaking through the back lines. The T-34E's pushing forwards. Potentially going to find the mortars very far back. The only thing left, the Pac-40 and the Panther D that can stop this breakout. But wow, this is beautiful to see. Absolutely beautiful. The artillery coming in from uh, Sean and uh, down goes the infantry unit, just the MG42 there as well that could potentially destroy a few, but I think the T-34s can handle that. Picks up the rear flag, 15-9 to Sean right now. Hey, Robert going to lose in 13 minutes, but I think this breakout, I think this has done the job. The Panther D gets turret stuck by either the M42 or the Halbuka uh, artillery piece. And uh, that one's under threat, having to reverse. Down it goes. Oh, Hey, Robert, losing these key Panthers, the Pack 40 going to engage with the HE, but over time, that's just going to get destroyed by the uh, machine gun fire of a number of units. The T-34E's making it through the background. If they head north, they've got this further flag as well. Send one north, you can pick up another flag here. Beautiful play. And, uh, hey, Robert, bringing in Panzer Grenz. He needs infantry on the ground, but, um, actually, there's just too much here for Sean. Hey, Robert's going to need... Wow, look at this. Northern push from Sean with the aircraft, the Yak-1B, the IL-2M, along with the IL-2M bombers. And uh, this one coming in the rear for the uh, Stug-4. Uh, the Yak-1B is taking uh, anti-air fire, protecting the bombers as they come through. Beautiful play. Strikes coming down onto the MG-42. Down that one goes. The Panther, will that go down as well? Being attacked by the OB-25s, forcing it back. The cluster munitions did not manage to kill the Stug-4. And uh, wow. Intense fighting coming on. The uh, infantry going down here in the northern side. Sean continuing to push forward. He's got the 15-9. Look at the units now defending for uh, Hey Robert. There's just nothing left. Overwhelming force for Sean. This is it. This is the uh, final breakthrough. And it all came on this southern side. Uh, just, just a beautiful breakthrough. Uh, relentless pressure. As soon as Sean got that breakthrough, he was straight on it with the t-34s as soon as this panther went down those t-34s just launching themselves out of the forest uh coming around kind of the uh 
this uh, little little line of sight blocker taking down the uh, SDK Z71, the Gepard, the Commander, the uh, Mortar Half Track. They did manage to reverse, but really it's uh, way back out of the way. And um, Sean just reinforcing with more infantry, making sure he holds this position. Uh, there is a Focke Wolf 190 F8 coming in, but it's just one plane to attack three. Does get the kill on two of them though. What a beautiful strike. Gets the kill on two of them. Beautiful. I mean, that was a very expensive counter though to uh, some cheap T3476s. And, uh, but does manage to fall back two of them. Stems the tide for the moment. Another one coming forwards. Uh, Sean bringing in more infantry, but I think he's... Well, well, he's dominating this central area right now. The Panther D, I mean, look at all the AT here over this center ground. To Sean just advancing forwards beautifully. The uh, 52K anti-air unit striking the JU-88G1, forcing that back. The Panther D, it just cannot move forwards. If that Panther D moves forwards, there's just too many AT guns firing at it. Here, Robert completely defeated um, here. It's just moments until Sean picks up the victory. Four minutes left, 24, but I could see here Robert surrendering early in this position. I think he's going to push through to the end. Uh, he will not give up, but uh, commendable display by here Robert. But Sean, he managed to uh, grind here Robert down in this southern side for so long. I mean, look at the number of artillery strikes that have come into this southern side and we said it right from the beginning against the first Polish if you enter into attritional warfare you are going to lose out um, the uh, Strokey CKM trying to attack with the PTRD but potentially that opens the Panther D up to a side attack there goes the surrender slightly early a major victory for Sean he picks up the first win in this best of three final and uh, he picks it up I would say fairly Fairly convincingly, hey, Robert had a, a decent lead for a very long time. But um, Sean, I think, for me, in that A phase, Sean was able to push through in that southern side, put some pressure on hey, Robert, and uh, I think hey, Robert switched his focus. I, I don't think he was... Well, he was not going to engage in that southern forest, but Sean pushed forward, and I think hey, Robert saw that if he allowed Sean to take that forest, then potentially it could put uh, a threat on his flag a bit further back. So he decided to engage in the infantry fight over that southern forest. And um, that was never going to work out well for here, Robert. I feel like that was uh, potentially a bad mistake with strategy to engage in that attritional infantry battle. Uh, it wasn't ever going to work out in here, Robert's favour. And Sean forced him to engage in that battle. So really for me, that was kind of a key moment for this game. Early on, Sean forcing her Robert into a strategy that, that really favoured Sean. So nice, nice work. Nice work. 44 minutes, 49 seconds. Sean picks up the victory. Congratulations, Sean. Commiserations, her Robert. But it's just the first game of this final. Let's have a look at the kills for Sean, the Desant, the Tanko Uh taking some early uh, hits. I think veterancy used on both sides to uh, fantastically well. Wow, look at this SU-76 and PPANC. Two Jagpans of four kills. Beautiful work from that SU-76. Beautiful work. The uh, Strokey CKM stood up very nicely here against the Panzergrens. And the Halbuka M30s did a fantastic job uh, throughout the game, just hounding her Robert's units and used to take out the uh, anti-air assets. We I mean, look at that one SDK said seven slash one, a Gepard, another Gepard, um, potentially more, but that it, it set up Sean for a later stage air attack. Um, Kind of strategy which uh, Sean played really well. I mean, he took out a, a hell of a lot of anti air units and he didn't use those cluster bombers until he got rid of those assets. So, really well played, uh, very well played. And then the IL2s come in, they get the uh, Jagdpanzer kill, the Panther A kill. Nice T3476 here with two Panzer 4s and a Stug 4. 
uh, nice work from him another halberker here nice jag panzer kill uh, those halberker m30s i mean another panther d kill very well played with those house because this was the t34 that broke out it got the panther d kill I think this was the T-34 that got that Panther D kill. That was so important. Broke out of that forest. Got the Gepard kill and the BEF SDK I've said 251 slash 3 Commander kill. What a beautiful breakout that was. I absolutely loved watching that breakout. Let's have a look at the kills for here, Robert. Early on, the Stug 4. Taking out a decent number of units. I think that was in the southern side. No! That was in the very northern side, where Sean actually lost all of his starting units in that northern side. Uh, the three Flammenwerfers that were pushing ambitiously right onto Herobert's lines. And actually, Herobert could have launched a major counter-attack in that northern side, but he didn't. Uh, Sean was also attacking in that southern side. That was where Herobert focused, and he missed the opportunity in the north. Uh, the Panzer Vinictons, a couple of Panzer Vinictons got... Got a, a couple of nice kills. Uh, the SDK said 251 actually getting a uh, Halbuka M30 kill. Nice work there from that mortar half track. Uh, the Heinkel 111 H20 did take out an artillery commander. Uh, so at least it got one unit. Uh, but that one got shot down straight away. And uh, this Finnington's here taking out two. T-34Es and the T-34. Nice work from that, Benictons. Uh, what else do we have? I mean, this showed the importance of Sean getting rid of the anti-air assets. That SDK I've said 7-1, taking down the IL-2M. And if they, there's a lot of those had been around towards the end of the game, Sean wouldn't have been able to use his cluster bombers with such great effect. But actually, it was just combined arms from Sean. You know, he used his T-34s to take out the heavy tanks. He used his anti-tank guns with the m42 and the zis 3 he used his anti-air assets with the 52k to take down the heavy tanks he used his artillery assets with the halbecker m30 to take down the heavy tanks and then if all else failed he relied on his air assets with the il2m so i mean i was writing this polish deck off with uh potentially a difficulty in taking down those heavy tank assets but Sean just found a way with all of his units to uh, put pressure onto hey, Robert's heavy units and wow you've got to hand it to Sean expertly played expertly played so let's have a look at how that affects things um, so Sean picks up that first victory gets the uh, one uh, game to zero lead over here Robert like I said this is a best of three so we will have the second final uh, tomorrow uh, look forward to uh, seeing that and we will see can Sean get the 2-0 and win the Brawl on Breast tournament or will here Robert pull back to a 1-1 um, draw and uh, push through to a third game you guys can find out tomorrow, so look forward to that. Thanks very much to, for uh, watching today. Hopefully you've enjoyed this cast, and uh, I certainly enjoyed the end of that game. Uh, so if you did, give me a thumbs up. It also helps with the YouTube algorithm and uh, reaching new new people to, to watch Steel Division 2. Uh, you can also check out the description to links to my Discord, Twitch, and Patreon. All of your support uh, really helps me to continue to provide you with quality content. Thanks very much for watching. I am Angry Bird. I will see you next time.